Poetry can affect all generations and make people consider anything from love to loss. If composed well, a poem can illuminate parts of life that have never been considered. One man, a Ghanaian poet, who brought new dimensions to poetry is the late Professor Atukwe Okai, a literary giant, pan-Africanist, cultural activist, academic, and a fearless social commentator. The Ghana Association of Writers, GAL, has celebrated him. GBC 24's Rebecca Iwa watched the recitals, reminiscences, and anecdotes by other poets and his contemporaries. The poet speaks intimately and exclusively, giving one an insight into the inner workings of their mind, their ideas, their loves and hates. And spoken word is no different. It is performance poetry that is rapidly growing in popularity. A one-time Secretary General of the Pan-African Writers Association and a former President of the Ghana Writers Association, Professor Atukwe Okai is generally acknowledged to be the first spoken word artist to emerge from Africa. For 47 uninterrupted years, he challenged the status quo and succeeded in redefining and transforming poetry from a dry, an interesting classroom subject avoided by many a student into one of the widely embraced art forms pursued as a career. Some of his contemporaries gave an account of this literary giant. We had a, a greeting for one another. We could. And if I say weku, he would say ga weku weku, and then we, he would try and speak some fancy. But you know, um, we've known one another for a very, very, very long time. We are grateful to him for having the enthusiasm, the energy. The care, you know, to try and even create some space where we writers of Africa can say that we are a trade union. Atuko is the first person to perform rather than recite or read, really perform a poem using all the cadences, rhythms and rhymes of our various languages he was the one who really made us see poetry as a living thing. With works such as The Oath of the Phantom from Logoligi Logarithms, Mandela the Spear, a slim queen in a palanquin, and a popo on a mango tree, among others, Professor Atukwe Okai gained fame as one of Africa's most influential writers and artists. He represented Ghana in many parts of the world through the translation of his works into several languages, including Russia, Spanish, German, Arabic, French, and Italian. A style of fusing Ga and English also made poetry come alive and daring him to both the old and young. Atukwe Okai, he's, he's a demigod uh, because uh, he also brings to life through writing, through poetry, through speaking. And then we have been taught to also create. And I think uh, as the leading resource in a country, that's the human resource. And then with the youth who are known as just piercing, tattooing, listening to hip hop and maybe some Shatawale music here and there and jamming in the clubs, we can actually also write some literary works which are timeless and worthy. I'm a son of many parts, born to many fathers at different points in my life. Among them, Atukwe, and then Atukwe Okai, the white. And then Ni Oshamraku Atukwe Okai, my newest ancestor.